What you're looking at here are pictures of a mosaic floor uh, from the Roman era. Uh, these are very plentiful in Europe and the Holy Land. You see one just about every time you go around a corner. This one is a little bit different though because it dates to the middle to early part of the third century and because it includes Christian symbols and an inscription to the God Jesus Christ. Now what makes this so surprising is that during the period in which this floor was laid, the public worship of Jesus Christ was considered treason by the Roman Empire. So here we have the floor of a public building, probably the first and oldest dedicated church building. And it's built during a time when Christians are being actively persecuted by the empire. Even more surprising though, the location of this ruin is just hundreds of yards from what was the major Roman military occupation in ancient Israel at the time. It was the home of Caesar's famous 6th Legion, also called the Ironclad Legion. And this legion had been dispatched to the Holy Land in order to bring order after the first Jewish revolt. Then just to top matters off, an inscription was found in the floor naming the donors that made the floor possible in addition to some of the other furnishings of the church and the man who actually laid the tile. Each of them were Roman soldiers one of them a centurion by the name of Gaius. So what this tells us is that among the soldiers of the 6th Roman Legion, there were enough Christians that they felt comfortable worshiping publicly and proclaiming their faith. How does this happen? How does the military branch of an empire which is persecuting Christians contains so many Christians that they feel comfortable expressing their faith. I'd like to invite you to join us in the month of April as we move through a teaching series that we call In Command. The foundation of this teaching series comes from the Gospel of Matthew and the way he tells the story of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection and how prominently Roman soldiers figure in that story. We'll talk about what they experienced, maybe what they felt, maybe what they believed, and perhaps even the faith that they shared with one another and with their fellow soldiers. Join us each Sunday during the month of April for In Command.